Um, it's called GCM. I love these times. Uh, these times where we get together and celebrate a little bit. <coughs> celebrate our history. I love these times that we come here and get inspired by uh, some good words. Words of gratitude for those that uh, are getting off. <coughs> I think, uh, for me personally, I hope uh, we hear that more often you know, when, we, when we talk about gratitude and we talk about being inspired, that we take the time to reflect as leaders in our own way, in our own families, in our own work, in our own job. On these steps that were these strong steps that we're taking and those steps that we're following. For me, I wish Merle was here. Uh, I told Merle throughout the year that, uh, that I'd really admired this body of work that he's had for his entire time here from the time he joined Money in the School of Agriculture to now. All those things that he's accomplished for, not him, but for our people. And I can't help but think about his father when I think about Merle. His father was like my step-grandfather, George Bergsman, was like Aunt Sarah James. They'd cruise around the res and they'd go 10 miles an hour, and we were always in a hurry, going 50 miles an hour, and you get behind him, you know. And I got behind Ernie one day and he pulled over. He said, I voted for you. <laughs> <laughs> so he told me what to do about the wellness of our people way back when. <laughs> you know, we work for the people. And I miss them. I miss Richard Borges. His kindness and his honesty, his hard work. It, it staggers me to think about what he did for our people. He never sat here. And I miss my Aunt Jean. We take a look around in times like this. Where is she? Well, she's inside of us. We carry on. Much like Shasta's great grandfather is inside of us from when he took care of us at the setting sun. Yeah. Julie's great grandmother, you remember her now, you know? But you reflect. That's where our strength comes from. It's not because we uh, got any smarter or we got more popular. It's that. We come back to that. My father's 90 years old now, and he's there reflecting on Buddy Washington and Victor Jones and Felix Solomon. And we've got to take the time when we walk down these hallways and look at those pictures and say, well, that's who they are. They brought us here. And it wasn't because they were rich or they had education, but they had that undaunting, that undaunting will, that endless faith and us as a people. That's the very basis of our strength, is the belief in all of us as a people. And if we believe that, and it's an easy thing to forgive us as a people. Because we have work to do. We're hard-working people. We're determined people. We're forgiving people. If we take the time to reflect, that's how we got here. That's how our elders and our ancestors got us to this place. 
there's no excuse now for us to make what we've decided we're going to do, make it happen. Because we're going to do those things. Money is a means to an end. This government is a means to an end. The most important thing is our families. I think that's what they had in mind when they said they were working for the people. So I wish Merle was here, Leroy and Candy. Thank them. I, I know their, their grandparents, those that have gone before them, reflect on that, draw straight from that. And, and don't ever, ever forget. Thank you.